you know, mixes it up a little bit and, and wrestles a bit. This guy's a beast. Well, this guy's a beast. I, I don't want him in the UFC. <laughs>2 championships simultaneously from two top tier mixed martial arts organizations at the same time. The Schmo will wait. It's Johnny sitting to our left. I guess it's me, man. Yeah. Can't really think anybody else. Who else besides maybe like a strike force and a UFC champ, but even then they absorbed them. So I don't know. I would have to do more investigating on that. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely need to dive in that rabbit hole a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting a lot of training in right now. You're training with Marvin Vittori, the Italian dream. He's made his way down to ATT. Is he your main training partner right now or what? He's one of them, you know. Got a lot of good training partners. Uh, Marvin's definitely one of them. Great guy to train with. Uh, top, top level guy, you know. Uh, I like to train with other sharks. I'm a shark myself. Hypothetically speaking, if mixed martial arts were to do a two-on-two -on -two match and it's you and Marvin, let's say against a Sean Strickland and you fill in the blank, is there anyone that he could team up with in the world that can beat you and Marvin together as a duo? I don't know, man. That, that's crazy. But I'm guessing it'd be him and Chris Curtis, and that would be fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> we need to do that. That'd be great. I th that would sell pay-per-views for sure. That would? Yeah. Amazing, bro. I would. I want to see that. I want to see that for myself. But you would start, and he would have to tag in Marvin. And it'd be you and Strickland first, or you and uh, Chris Curtis, the action man, first. I don't know, man. We, we'd have to figure it out. Maybe just all four at the same time, or yeah, maybe a tag team match. I don't know. We'd have to write out the rules and figure it out. Well, talk to the schmo for a second, man. You seem to be getting all the hot models these days, blowing up on OnlyFans, man. What's the influence to be such an influencer like yourself, Johnny? You know, just having fun out there, bro. And, uh, you know, it attracts, it attracts the ladies, bro. When yeah. you throw some money, bitches just come hollering. I don't know. It's crazy, right? It is crazy. Bro. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. They're just attracted to me all of a sudden because I'm making money. But it's fun. Having fun with it. Shmoney moves. Shmoney does move. Well, let's talk about your teammate Dustin the Diamond Poi. He's got a big fight. He's fighting a young, hungry lion, the Frenchman. Why is he going to be victorious? Because Dustin's a fucking dog, bro. And he's a veteran. He hits hard. I've trained with him a lot, bro. He hits like a freaking welterweight, sometimes a middleweight, you know. Uh, I think he ends him. I think he uh, puts him out KO. Well, it's been a long time since the Schmo stepped foot in these friendly confines of ATT. We look up. We see your face right there on the poster, right there with the championship strut. How good did it feel to see your face on the big wall? Feels good, man. You know, I'm, I got a few pictures up, uh, one with the belt, one with my head fucking split open and me screaming, you know, full primal mode. And then uh, one of the team and us leaving the building after I won the championship. So it's pretty cool, you know. I'm, I'm really making my mark here. Do you think there's a middleweight on the planet that could just sniff your jock strap when you compete inside the cage? Because we know you think and believe that you're the best in the world. Yeah, I think I, and I believe I'm the best in the world, you know, but there's days where I don't and it, it's it's up and down just like anything else. But uh, yeah, man, I think I can compete with anybody in the world and, and I'm excited to compete with everybody in the world. How do you think MVP is going to do in his UFC debut? We're talking about a Bellator guy making his way to the UFC. I know he's 36 years young, better late than never. How do you think he'll do against Kevin Holland? I think him and Kevin Holland are, is a great matchup. Uh, I, I honestly like... MVP's likelihood on the on the feet and if Kevin tries to you know make it a stand-up game I don't think he's gonna win that battle but uh if Kevin you know mixes it up a little bit and, and wrestles a bit this guy's a beast. Uh, this guy's a beast. I, I don't want him in the UFC I don't think he deserves to be there hey man, we got other PFL guys don't deserve to be there <laughs> what well, when we're talking about MVP he's making his debut him. MVP you know I trained with him a long time ago when yeah. uh, I love the shoot fighters no, it's solid. We'll see. Solid, right? yeah, He's, uh, I mean, he lost to Mike Perry. I don't know, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> lost to Mike Perry in a boxing match. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll monster. see. Yeah, yeah. This dude's a monster, I don't, I don't bro. Want him to <laughs> That's my bot. That's my dog, bro. Would you ever come to the UFC? Do you think there's enough uh, money they could throw at you? Yeah, but I'm, I'm contractually obliged to, to compete with the PFL and Bellator. Um, so until that contract's up or unless the UFC wants to buy that contract, I'm, I'm just. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, you know. I'm getting paid well, but I'm sure uh, I could make more money in the UFC. 
they, they got pay-per-view points and they got a whole structure that can, you know, get guys paid a bit more. But also, you know, PFL's allowing like Naganu bo to box and he's making 20 million. So it's kind of up in the air, really, uh, w on what end you can make more money. So who knows? We'll see. Would they let you box? <laughs> Fuck, if they would. Let me box Jake Paul. You're his weight class. I am. I'd fuck him up too, bro. It's a shame. He wants to fight Mike Tyson, who's, what, how old is he now? 57. Jesus, bro. I love Mike, but ah, that's just bad. We, we, I don't want to see that. No one, no one cares about that, right? Do you care about that? Well, who's going to be laying on the canvas at the end of that night in Jerry World AT&T Stadium? Honestly, I don't even care. I don't care. I'm not even going to watch it. Are you going to watch it? You're probably going to watch it. What's well, on Netflix? Yeah, I actually canceled my Netflix, Netflix subscription, so. Mm. Well, because of that, actually. No, oh, not, not me. Well, you know, you know it's, it's free for the schmo. Netflix, baby. We're already paying yeah, for it. Just because it's free doesn't mean you should watch it. There's a lot of free shit you don't watch. Think about it. All right. Think about all those Netflix series that you go by that you never watch. And Jake Paul and Tyson will be one of those things I don't watch. Okay. Maybe Fair I'll enough. see the highlights on, on, on X or uh, Instagram, you know? They could do it, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? I'm not going to watch it. Okay. I hope you don't watch it. Okay. <laughs> well, what, something the Schmo is going to watch is UFC 300. Israel Adesanya, he wanted to face DDP, the champion in the middleweight division of the UFC. But DDP didn't want to take the fight because obviously he's got some injuries yeah. that he's got to heal up for. And why should the champ rush? Do you think he's in the right for that? I think he's in the right, man. He deserves uh, to fight when he's ready to fight. Um, he's calling the shots. He's the champ. You know, good for him. He's in the position of uh, leverage. Leverage is a good thing. It really, really is. And speaking of leverage, the next time we see you compete inside the cage, what's going to be the hallmark memory that everyone's going to take away when we hear and still? Johnny's a bad motherfucker, bro. I'm just going to keep collecting belts, keep knocking fools out, keep beating fools up, and collecting checks. There it is. And the beard's looking good. Thanks, brother. Yeah, actually, I'm about to go get a haircut. I need to shape in some shit up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it fresh. Yeah, just like you, bro. We're trying. I'm actually trying to grow it out. What, your beard? Yeah. Yeah, you got to work on that a little bit more. Think about it more. Like, uh, you know, like, like push it out. You got to push that beard out. It's long for the schmo. For, for the schmo, this is That's like long? big time. Yeah. Man, what the fuck? Really? You're, come on. This is long for him? Oh, man. You, like pubic hairs, yeah? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wasn't going to say it. But you were thinking it. I was thinking it. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Final message for all the Johnny Eblen fans out there worldwide uh watch me when i next compete i don't even know when that's gonna be probably end of the year yeah follow me on uh instagram john at johnny eblin uh see all the shenanigans i get into and uh that's about it this guy likes to build and repair homes too he's the pro i'm the schmo american top team coconut creek florida we're out uh -huh.